overflows. Awakening is wisdom. Awakening unfolds mysteries of wisdom in a seeker. In the absence of awakening, your wisdom cannot be activated. And in the absence of awakening, he follows the other blindly. The son follows the father, the disciple follows the master, the subject follows the king. Understanding will help you to be positive, then you will be able to accept everything. By positive, I mean that you accept everything because you know that you cannot divide existence. When you take a breath in and immediately you have to throw it out, you inhale and then exhale. If you only, if you were only to inhale and not to exhale, you will die. So too, if you are only to exhale and not inhale, then too you would die. Remember both inhaling and exhaling are part of one process, a circle called breathing. You can inhale only because you exhale. Both are together and they cannot be divided. Remember, following someone is not the way to transformation and ultimately to enlightenment. When unrighteousness, ignorance and lack to wisdom increases at higher level, it ultimately filters down to the lower. Then it is always necessary to destroy this for the birth of new man and awakening. When bitter fruits begin to mushroom on a tree, then neither removing the fruits nor pruning the branches of the tree can bring sweet fruits. For this the existing tree or a structure, values etc. have to be uprooted from its roots. Only then a new way, a path or light can shine through. All old dilapidated structures have to be discarded to create a new structure. There always remains a basic question, how to change something else, how to change negative sounds into positive sounds, you cannot. If you are positive, then nothing is negative for you. If you are negative, then everything will be negative for you. You are the source of all that exists around you. You are the creator of your own world. And we are not living in one world. Remember, there are as many worlds, as many minds are there. Each mind is living in its own world and creates the world. So if everything looks negative, destructive and inimical against you, it is because you do not have the positive center in you. So do not think about how to change negative noises. If you feel negatively all around you, it simply shows you are negative within. The soul is just, the world is just a mirror and you are reflecting, you are reflected in it. It depends on your mind. If you are positive, then everything becomes positive around you. If you are negative, then everything turns negative and sour around you. So please remember this, not only about noises, but about everything else in life. If you feel that something negative exists around you, 
go and find the cause within it is you you must be expecting something you must be desiring something you must be making certain conditions existence cannot be forced to go according to you it flows in its own way if you can flow with it you will be positive if you fight with it you will become negative and the whole cosmos around you will turn negative it is just like a person who is trying to flow up a stream then a stream is negative if you are trying to flow up a stream in a river then the river will seem negative and you will feel that the river is fighting with you that the river is pushing you downwards the river is trying the river is trying to move you down a stream not up a stream so it will seem as if the river is fighting you the river is completely unaware of your presence river is flowing in one way the directions the upstream and downstream if you are going trying to swim upstream you will feel that the river is fighting with you and against you if you are flowing downstream along with the flow of the river river will support you and you do not have to do anything it is as if you are simply swimming a floating the river is completely unaware of you blissfully unaware and it is good otherwise the river will have to go to a mad house the river is not fighting with you you are fighting with the river you are trying to float up a stream i have heard an anecdote about mulla nasruddin once a great crowd gathered around this house and they said what are you doing your wife has fallen into the stream and the river is in flood go immediately otherwise the stream will take your wife to the ocean the ocean was just near so mulla came running to the bank jumped into the stream and started swimming up the stream to find where the wife was the crowd screamed what are you doing mulla your wife could not have gone up the stream she has gone down the stream and mulla said don't disturb me i know my wife very well if everyone else had fallen into the stream he would have gone down the stream not my wife however she must have gone up the stream i know my wife very well i have lived with her for 40 years the mind is always trying to go up the stream means against the flow of the river against existence the sun is shining instead of flowing with it you feel that the sun is creating problem for you extra heat or warmth mind is always trying to go up stream to move up stream fighting with everything you create a negative world around you obviously this has to happen the world is not against you but because you are not with the world you feel it is against you flow down the stream with the river with the stream and then the river will help you to flow then your energies will not be needed you will not lose any energy by floating down the stream because once you flow down the stream you have accepted river the current the flow the direction and everything this is how life goes 
then you have become positive to it. When you are positive, the river is positive to you. It will appear to you. You can make everything positive only by making yourself positive towards life. But we are not positive towards life. Why? Why are we not positive towards life? Why are we negative? Why this constant struggle? Why can we not have a total let go with life? What is the fear? You may not have observed this, but you are afraid of life, very much afraid of life. It may sound odd to say that you are afraid of life, because ordinarily you feel that you are afraid of death, not of life. This is the usual observation that everyone is afraid of death, but I'll tell you, I will tell you, you are afraid of death only because you are afraid of life. One who is afraid of life will not, one who is not afraid of life will not be afraid of death. Why are we afraid of life? There are three reasons. Firstly, your ego can exist only if it goes upstream. Flowing down the stream, your ego cannot exist. Your ego can exist only when it fights. When it says no, if it says yes, always yes, it cannot exist. The ego is the basic cause of saying no to everything. Look at your ways, at how you behave and react. Look at how the no comes immediately, spontaneously to the mind and how yes is very, very difficult. Because with no, you exist as ego. With yes, your identity is lost. You become the drop in the ocean. Yes has no ego in it. That is why it is so difficult to say yes, very difficult. You try to understand, if you are going down the stream, you feel you are. If you just let go and start floating with the stream, wherever it leads, you do not feel that you are. Then you have become part of the stream, this ego, this thinking yourself to be isolated is an I that creates the negativity around you. This ego creates the ripple of negativity. Secondly, life is unknown, unknowable and unpredictable. And your mind is very narrow. Mind wants to live in the known and the predictable. Mind is always afraid of the unknown. There is a reason for it. It is because mind consists of the known. Whatsoever you have known, experienced, learned, mind consists of that alone. The unknown is not part of the mind. The mind is always afraid of the unknown. The unknown will disturb the mind. So mind is close to the unknown. It lives in its routine. It lives in a pattern. It moves in a particular groups, known groups. It goes on moving, moving just like a gramophone record. It is afraid to move in the unknown. Life is always moving into the unknown and you are afraid. You want life to move according to your mind, according to the known, but life cannot follow you. It always moves in the unknown. That is why you are afraid of life. Enough for now.